Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. Get ready for some pendulum-powered billiards with Skittle Pool. Well, it's glad to be sitting down again to play some Skittle Pool. This is a game from the 70s that the people at Back Porch Games, Front Porch Games, this is... <clears throat> Well, it's good to be sitting down again. We're gonna play Skittle Pool. This is the people, fuck it. <laughs> you know what? It's good to be sitting down again to play some Skittle Pool. This is a game from the 1970s and the people at Front Porch Games have resurrected it and we're gonna play it here. Look, look at it. Hardwood construction, felt. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. I'm feeling it. Pretty great. And what would be just as great is a beer. Well, it turns out they also sent us some beer. Red's Dumbass Ale, <laughs> packaged in a root beer bottle. Oh, that's the guy from that 70s show. Yeah, and his that, name was Red, he's right? He's always calling his children dumbasses and, and making them sad. Bottled on 10, 14, 18, so it's nice and fresh. Let's try it and see how that homebrew tastes. Not only was this beer brought to us by Skittle Pool, but they also sponsored this episode. That's not bad. There's lots of layers of flavor in there. I got like three different layers. I haven't figured out what they are yet. I got a bunch of malt. There's malt and then there's like a triangle of something. I feel like it's a triangle. You can't feel a triangle from beer. I'm tasting a triangle of flavor that comes through the malt. Oh, it's a little smoky too. Mm. It's very dry and crisp and it makes me feel smart, oddly enough. For Skittle Pool, we're going to be playing a standard game of eight ball, and Adam and I are going to be a team, and and they're going to be a team as well. So the first ball that you knock into the pocket, that is your team ball, either solids or stripes. You knock in the eight ball last. If you knock in the eight ball before you knock in the rest of your balls, you lose. Just like classic pool. Now, it's got a little thing that you can use to aim. Oh, yeah. And see, we've got the little setup here and the pendulum, so you don't need a pool cue. You can play this on a table like we're doing. We don't have to stand up. Pendulum. Science. Oh, oh wow. Nice break, Matt. I think I have to okay. pull it back further. I think you could have pulled it back further. Okay. Uh, let me show you how to do it. You just don't want to wink it back too far. They say that, you know, you got to be careful. There you go. Well, that's a, that's that how you do really it. That's pretty good. Oh, get that four. Here, I'll, I'll lean over so you can aim. Okay. All right, we'll just get it right lined up there. All right, and then pulling it back straight is key. Wank it. Yeah! Wow! Solids! For life! All right, so it's your go again. That's correct. Two in the side pocket. Can you make it? Never. There's no fucking way. No. Nope. Oh! Oh! Okay. We'll take it. We'll take that. We're not playing you gotta call your pockets. No. Just the eight ball. That's the only one you gotta call. We'll keep this train a rolling. Kiss for luck. Oh. There! Wow. I got lucky lips. <laughs> you can hit the a stripe before you hit the solid, because that's not how I play pool. Shut up. Wait, playing yeah. lawless vagabond pool. Keep it going, fast Keep Eddie. Keep it going. Oh, well. Okay. We're now we're gonna do it. This guy grew up in pool halls. I grew up in pool <laughs> halls and pool hells. I did, my dad took me out to the bar and he would play pool and then I would inhale smoke. And then he'd say, come home with me, Rita. And then he'd take Rita home with, the t with you. Well, and you would yeah. be in the front room and he'd be in the back and there would be a strange noise coming out of there. Yep, that's... And Rita would say, oh, Aaron's dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And Aaron's dad would go, brow, 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 brow. <laughs> so What do you recommend here, Jason? 11 in the corner, maybe? Oh, uh, man, I would go for the 13. I'm gonna go for the 11, but I'm gonna wink it back real gentle. Yeah! There you go! Nice. Jason, we'll see if I have any All luck right. with this. Now, remember, you suggested this, so... Yep. Use your... One, yeah. two. Uh, oh. Whoa, what the hell do you do with it now? Well, now you kind of screwed him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. maybe I did screw you. Ooh, See, he almost yeah, got it. That was pretty close. All right. You know, another name for this kind of pool would be stickless. Hmm. Stickless mini pool. Eh? The Skittle pool is better. Oh. Holy oh, shit. Oh, I scratched. Oh, scratch. Scratch. Yeah. Oh, the ball sla snack is down here. I got this dumb ball in my way. <laughs> I'm going to wank it really far. Yeah, you oh, suck. Okay. All right, Aaron, you got this, buddy. Knock in that one ball. Knock in the one ball. What about the eight it's ball, It's an easy Jason? shot for you. It's an easy shot. Shut up. 
Jason, what about the eight ball? That could be a problem. Well, just what should I do? Just play the game. That's not advice. <laughs> play the game. Play the game. Play the game. That's still not advice. I'm just hitting balls at this point. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you knew that I was about to do that, and you said nothing. Yeah. That was gonna happen at some point. I'm gonna really wank it. Wank it. Oh, wank. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. I finally wanked harder. Just gotta hit it real good. See? I set you up. You did. I like this. You're gonna get it. Mm. Oh! oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Yes! Oh. Watch that eight ball there, son. Yeah, well, I oh, wanted to got a block. get him over there, and yeah, he fucked it up. Easy shot. We're catching up. It's an easy shot. Shoot it up that ramp. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Your turn. You didn't even try to bank it or anything. You're just like, no, I'm going to let him do it. He's the pool master. I'm the gatekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the lifeguard. You're the hot stepper. Murder up. I'm the lyrical gangster? No. In your dreams. Jason, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> That's why I did what I did. Hey, hey, you know, if you hit the 12 on the two, you're going to get in there and in the hole. I'm going to line this shit up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to play some skittle pool. Louis Armstrong. I'm going to not, I'm not going to do shit. How are your bowels? <laughs> these ah, days? they're good. They're real good. <laughs> Are good, they're better than they ever was. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Hold on. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> We're having a good time playing Skittle Pool. It's the time of the year where you buy gifts for people, and you can go to rugame.com and get Skittle Pool for yourself. It's compact, it can fit on a tabletop, and it's a lot of fun. Or you can get it for a loved one and beat them at pool handily. It's cheaper than a in ground pool. What a mess. Get us out of this mess. What a mess. President Trump, how are you enjoying Skittle Pool? I think the Skittle Pool is the best pool I have ever played. And I'm going to win. And I'll tell you, I will do it and no one else can do it. Oh, that's too bad. I meant to do it that way because then it's going to be even better and bigger the next time I do it. It's called winning. <laughs> Trump has two balls. Okay. Big ones. <laughs> Back where it used, used to, to be. be, put a feather on my boner. Back to life, back where it used to be. Oh, oh damn it. Nice shot. I wasn't meaning it. I was going to get it in Wait, the corner pocket over there. What? It's, I, I, it slipped out of my fingers. Shut up. All right. Did. Seriously. Now we're even. We were so far ahead, now we're even. We 12 and the 8 ball. We can do this. No, no, no. Oh, you really whacked it. I tried to give look it a look, at yeah, look, at right look at now what he's done. Yeah, look at what he's done. Look at now what he's done. Right in the way. Look at what he's done, Kermit. No! Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, it feels Ooh. so good. And you've given us such a great shot to win the game. Let's see you try it. Oh, it's not me, yeah. is it? Yeah, it oh, is. No. It is. Yeah. Eight ball, corner pocket. And away we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Didn't work. Wow. Oh. Oh. Pool. Cuckoo. <laughs> Hand me a pap, 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 pappies. Pap, 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 pap. It's that time of year. You may be thinking about getting gifts for the folks that you know in your life, or maybe they want to get a gift for you. We These are still available. Get them now, though. They might sell out. It's going to be quick. <laughs> Abby Burks would like us to insult her husband. Oh. He is a big gamer and is also the old man of his friends. He's turning 27. <laughs> he loves their cat, Link. What's his name? I didn't. She didn't say. Yeah, that's why I kept reading. Oh, okay. His husband. Okay. You have no personality to speak of, so why should you have a name? You're a fuck stack, you're a giant stack of fuck, you're a suck stack as well. You got a small penis, yep. and everyone laughs at it, even when you're wearing pants. You're 27, fucking old as shit! Your ass is shapeless. Oh, 
No genes will save that ass. Oh, you yeah. got a tiny nipple. So suck it, <laughs> Abby's husband. You, a lot of us struggle these days with fast-moving lifestyles and technology, but you know, you need to live your best life now. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the reaction I have when I see that face. Very punchable face. This it's, is a game courtesy of Joel Osteen of the Joel Osteen Mega Church. Right, and the point of this game is there's been a hurricane and you have no place to live and his church is dry <laughs> and safe and clean and you have to talk him into letting you in. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. No, actually it's not the point of it because no, you can't get in. In fact, the point is to enlarge your vision Mm -hmm. Develop a healthy self-image. Yep. Let go of the past. Yeah, let go of the PR missteps that your church has engaged in over the years. <laughs> you start in the forest of today. And you ascend as life goes on. To the to sky, the... because that's where the Lord is. This game features my miracle, which is my dick. Now don't share your miracle with everyone yet. Yeah, you're supposed to keep your dick a Everybody secret. gets a piece of paper. You write your immediate goal. It's a fun game. Yeah, and then you fold it in half, <laughs> and, and then you put it in the My Miracle envelope. Everybody picks a color. I see there's no black or brown options. That doesn't no. surprise me. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm going I'll orange. I'll be purple. I'll be Joel Osteen's favorite color, green. And we start on today, Aaron. We don't start with choosing to be happy. We start with today. I choose to be happy. <laughs> don't, you can't just Well, that's what the point to, of the game is. You have to do the work. You have to do the uh, steps. I'm not happy. Right. Adam is red, the color of Satan. Uh, I was oh. thinking the blood of Jesus. Jesus. That works too. So you are red, so you will move six spaces. Hot damn. There's no point to the journey except for when you get to those hexagons with the- Wait, wait, wait. Nothing happens on these spaces? No. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm green, so I'm Not there. Not quite a six. This is like my worst nightmare of a game. Yeah, this is a shitty part of the game. So Adam is at enlarge yep. your vision. Wonder word cards. These are words that are, have been chosen by Joel Osteen to give you the kind of power and faith that, that it takes to achieve a happy. You need to get an enlarge your vision card. What stands out in that picture? I picked the, the silhouette of a tree. Oh. In order to move from level one to level two, you got to make a statement about a new goal or vision that you have that incorporates that by the time this timer fucking runs out. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I've always wanted to climb trees. I've not had much upper body strength in life, so I I, I see them I'm as sorry, a- I'm sorry, time's up. Oh, <laughs> shit. What do we use these cards for? Well, those are your Wonder Word cards. And that for, doesn't answer my question. Throughout the game, <laughs> you refer to these uh, cards when you're trying to enlarge your vision. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta draw one of these uh, enlarge my vision cards. The okay. shadow tree's possessing oh. me. There's a lot of clouds. I'm up above them. I'm falling out of an airplane in this one. I just needed to, uh, <laughs> gonna... did I get my vision enlarged? Uh, <laughs> yeah, tree? if Matt rips the car, that okay. means you did it. Hold on, I gotta do a wonder word. Encourage. <laughs> I encourage what you. What is the game of this game? The trees are gonna get me. You have to uh, have faith, Matt. You okay, I wanna enlarge my vision. Don't okay. get a tree. What is it? It's the cock and balls in the clouds is what it is. Oh, thank God. I'm at uh, developing a healthy self-image. Good. A mirror. <clears throat> I don't want you to... I want you to look into this mirror. Uh, I'm gonna give you a card. Um, you have to pick one of these and then you have to answer the question in the mirror, Matt. What? Feel free to use one of your wonder words. I'm gonna twist it a little bit. I'm gonna do it a little differently. Okay. I'm sure Joel Osteen encourages nonconformity. Complete three sentences starting with my family. I'm gonna say three sentences and then end with my family. All right. Hanging out, hanging out, hanging out. Hanging out with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a lot better about myself. Good. I feel a lot better Good. about Good. Have you developed a personal self-image? That was my dream for Matt to do that. Do I get points? Nope. There's no points in this game. No, there are no wait, points. Wait, no point there's no point to the no game? Points. There's no points in the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I'm, got, I'm doing uh, improve my self-image. Yeah, oh, sure. come on. We don't need to do No, I want to look this. in the mirror. He wants to. He has to. a healthy self-image. Who, who in your life would you be happiest to see walk in the room right, right now? Me. <laughs> no, no, you can tell me. No, no, seriously. No, go ahead. O okay. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. The winking means it's true. Oh, I was going to move up to level four here and let go of the past. For this step, I have to air grievances. You have to tell a story or list items about your past that you do. You require an apology. If somebody done something wrong to you, you gotta gotta tell them. Otherwise, they'll never know, and you might die, and then they would be living still, feeling okay. <laughs> you want to make sure you leave them, leave them sad. Angry. <laughs> Look, and one time you yelled at me, Matt, and made me real sad. I've oh, never oh, met you before. Oh, oh. oh he's dead now. <laughs> All right, Jason, Stevens, yes. do you have any grievances with anyone in this room that uh, you would like to air? One episode of Beer and Board, probably multiple episodes of Beer and Board, and <laughs> Matt got upset with me. And it made me sad. Okay, but I'm okay well, now. Well, why did I get upset with you? What happened? I think you hit me in the arm. Why did I do that? Because I was fucking off. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sorry. This was not supposed to be me apologizing. This was supposed to be me. I'm so and sorry. And yet you are. I'm so sorry. I made you hit me, Matt. I'm going to discover the power of my thoughts and words. You draw a thoughts and words card. You come up with words that start with those letters to describe you. Okay, bleak. Baby, let's eat a kale. <laughs> Disdain. Damn, I suck. This ass is nothing. F. W. Woolworth. I think that stands for Francis Westerberg Woolworth. <laughs> Got a job in a dry goods store at age 21. His employer would not let him wait on customers because he didn't have enough sense. Woolworth! You need to stack up these boxes of macaroni noodles. He's talking to you, Woolworth. What? 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 what noodles? That's right. Stay here in the back. Don't talk to any customers. Why can't I talk to customers? Because you got no sense. But I got lots of sense. Uh, Prove it. Prove it, Woolworth. Stab him with this screwdriver. Uh, oh, these receipts aren't adding up. I got all the sense. What? Oh. There you go. Woolworth. How's that for sense? You really yeah. impressed me, Woolworth. I'm gonna start a store. Excuse me, young man. Can you help me out here in the dry goods? <laughs> oh, no, you should help him. What? Oh, he was a customer. I thought I was using oh, sense. Oh, shit. All right, have we gotten through the seven steps of Joel Osteen's Carnival of Fools here? I don't know if we've gotten through it, but I think we're done with it. It's time to go through the My Miracles envelope and try to guess whose miracle is which. Miracle number one. My immediate goal is to get fucked up wasted. Powerful. Drink another shot now. Powerful. My immediate goal is ghost the whip. <laughs> My immediate goal is buy more dog food. That belongs to Mr. New Puppy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Success! The ghost, the whip was you, obviously, and then shot was Jason. Approval! <laughs> yeah! It's me, Tiny Day Matthews. Oh, shit. Tiny no more. Now I'm in a big body. You took over Dave I Matthews' took, I, body. I took over Dave Matthews' body. He killed me. And now I have had my revenge. I'm happy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh I fell over. Oh. I can't get used to the high center of gravity. Oh, yeah.